Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Amanda. And we are serving up all that jam. All that jam, quick hit. Matt Rifino on how it started. So I read that you kind of got into this work. I hope I don't butcher this, like basically through your love of like punk indie scene, that was like kind of something that got you going. And I was just so curious kind of how, how you would make that jump to doing what you do. Cause I know you started at the today show. You were, you were pretty young, you know, to be doing that. Like how'd all that happen? I just started really early. So I was about 12 years old and I'd been playing guitar for a few years and I'm like a kid of the eighties and nineties. So when I was really young, like the Buddy Holly story was out and La Bamba was out and it was like all these fifties, sixties rockers. And I just thought that was so cool. And I was in, I don't know, nine or 10, something like that. And, and that just resonated with me. And there was so much music in my house that, you know, my dad was really into the dead and like all these different bands, Steely Dan. So my whole life, there was just music all around. And so just playing guitar, I convinced my grandfather to buy me a four track cassette, which was like how you demoed back then. And soon as I got that and like realized that you could just keep layering yourself. And then I got another one. So I play one, four tracks of one into two tracks of the other and then bounce the machines back and forth. And just before I knew it, like I was playing in punk bands and then recording other punk bands type of thing. And then it was like, well, let's start a record label. Let's start renting out Legion halls and throwing shows. And I really love the punk thing because of the community and the DIY, much like in the jam scene. You know, and it's funny because at the same age that I was listening to like the Sex Pistols and the Gorilla Biscuits, I was listening to the Dead and the Almond Brothers. To me, they're all kind of punk rock, you know, because like the Dead is more punk rock than any punk rock band that's on the radio today. As far as I'm concerned, there was no computer to fix them in. That's more raw. Like they're closer to the Ramones than My Chemical Romance or some new band is to what punk is to me. People tend to miss the, the anarchy thing, the embracing of anarchy by the counterculture in the 60s and the punks. It's, you know, the energy at, at, you know, it's funny on YouTube, I recently came across a show I was at when I was 16 or 17. That's like a punk rock show. And there's like a thousand people there. And I'm getting piled. I'm in the front screaming and singing along. And there's 300 pound guys stage diving over my head. And I, you could see me in the video, like 16 year old me, I could care less. I'm living it up. And it's that same energy that like a jam band has when they're at the edge of a show and the PA is like just breaking up right. And you don't know if that next note is going to be right or wrong but you're just in the moment it's the same energy the music styles might be different but that energy and that's like the real music to me like that's the excitement of it being on that edge all the time and that's what i try to bring to mixing and to sound is i want everything to be big and full and nice and pretty but i kind of like that one bob ross thing to kind of stand out where you like plant the thing in the middle of it and it's not supposed to be there but it's the standout thing all of a sudden when you first hear it you go "Ooh, i don't know and then you go that's the thing you know and if you can find that those are usually the good the good stuff you know that's usually the good stuff if you are enjoying all that jam please like and subscribe to our social media channels at all that jam pod on twitter instagram and facebook or visit our website all that jam pod.com make sure to sign up for our email list and tune in every week for new episodes. Also, look for full interviews on our YouTube channel. And remember, stay beautiful, but don't stay underground too long.